Hi everybody, it's James and welcome back to Corby Town. In the sunlight, no less. No dark recording today. Today I were actually using the ambient light to bring into this room and make us feel nice. So we've got some things to talk about. Some other things to good discuss. Uh, there's only been, what, one game played since you guys were here against Liverpool. It was against third place Tottenham and we held out for a nice little one niller. Squad rotation has been a thing as we picked up a few more injuries and people have been tired. But that's all right because they were playing Inter. Now, as you can see, they only have one guy who isn't, who isn't, and we have uh, we have two. Andre Carnival is suspended for this, which is fine because he's still hurt. And then Jamie and Hope is out. Hope is out with a sprained ankle. Jamie's still with that broken ankle. Yeah, Carnival still some time away. John Hope is still some time out too. Fernando Jamie is a well and good time away. So we've had to make some rotations in the squad. I think they'll be all right, considering we played, what, a couple days ago? Well, let's just go right in here and show you. Uh, you can see Porto put up nine against Transpador. So <laughs> that shows you where they're at. Tactical meeting. And I'm going to show you the team that I've lined up for today. So, uh, Leonard Augusto got a little bit of a sprained ankle and is tired. Uh, Ambrose has played the last couple of games and is a little bit exhausted. So, the changes we've made is this. We've got Salivar, because I know Kopner has played a lot of games. Bedov, too. But I think Bedov has okay natural fitness. Yeah, he's got natural fitness of 19. Where Kopner has natural fitness of 12. So he's more likely to kind of get tired than Bedov is. So Bedov comes in, uh, stays in there. Kok comes in with Edison and Aslani. Silvar comes in at left back, very as we know, very capable left back. Decent going forward, decent at defending. I like his teamwork and his work rate. So where he's not quick, he's just he's going to outwork most of the people on the team. For midfield, this is where things got tricky because like a lot of our midfielders are either injured or tired. So I haven't seen him in a while, but Chris Hewitt gets the start. A deep line playmaker. Once again, a solid choice. We have a lot of solid choices. He's a three-star player. He's a squad player. He may not improve much more than that, but you know, solid English squad player, English talent. Why not have him in here? He's registered. Brum keeps his spot at Mazala because, well, I can't believe he's still listed as a wonder kid. He's a world-class midfielder. Andreas Brum. I can't believe we also bought him for like, what was it? Like 17 million? Five, five million, this guy. God almighty. That was a steal. Brownlee comes back in. You can see those down arrows. He was a little injured, but he's back. Valdison keeps his place. Martin comes in on the left because Scrivener played last time and Scrivener does not have the best natural fitness. And... Of course, Gillett leads the line, because why wouldn't he lead the line? He's always going to be there. Look at all those up arrows. The man is just constantly improving all over the place. Now 17 pace. He's just ridiculous. Uh, and hopefully will be with us for many, many years to come. Uh, Williams, <laughs> William Braun on the bench, along with Lamont, Kopner, Harry Kane, that's right. He's made his way onto the bench. Probably could see him come in for Hewitt. Kieran Key, another guy, you know, once again, a wonder kid. Still only 20, though. It seems like he's been here forever. Midfielder, attacking midfielder, can definitely do a job for us. Tommy Boy Scrivener. Once again, just with the natural fitness thing, we're worried about this. And then Don Jurgen comes in, who has been really impressing me with how much he's going to be. He's already had a four-star ability and at 19 years old as a backup striker. I can't wait to see where he comes along. So we'll submit the team. People are tired, don't have tactical familiarity. It's just what we've had to do and what we have to deal with. Welcome to fixture congestion. Uh, as here we are. We're the under we're the underdogs? Interesting. Chris Hewitt's aggressive. Everybody looks inspired. Uh, I'm happy with his with him. No worries. I'm not worried about Chris Hewitt. Neither should be. Leonardo Martinez still there. 
He can still run. Grabbing Birch on the left, man. They don't. They've got an older team. Great, great choice of coloring there, guys. Great choice of coloring. As we are at Inter. Eight goal difference for Portal. Woo! Okay. I mean, we did put up seven on Real Madrid last year, so we're not ones to talk. As I forget the name of the stadium. The Giuseppe Mizanan. Here for our first. Our second try at the Champions League, our first group stage match. As things are pretty quiet to start with, Nico Barilla gets a booking, as does Paul Brownlee. I don't remember how many Champions League games Brownlee has been in. Throw in deep in their half. Ragadu sends it deep. Oh, we pick it up. Hewitt, oh, pings a beautiful ball here to Martin, who needs some help. But he found Yannick and Gillette with his ninth goal of the season that was that was great play cock wins the header hewitt comes just turns and pings a ball a beautiful ball to martin holds up the ball finds gillette and power heads that in i mean that's that's like a good what from the penalty spot eight yards out header that's not easy to do and just like that we go one nil up on them and a beautiful work of play from us. Scrinier, Scrinier's still there too. Wow, Barilla. Scrinier almost gets his pocket picked by Gillette. Gravenberch now against Silvar. And Letar he gets it into Latero Martinez for his first of the season. Really? Yeah, Zlani should be, should be upset with being beaten on the near post like that. Silvar, I mean, he does a good job. He closes Gravenberch down. Ball comes in, and is that Cock who just gets pushed off? I mean, Mark has not been in my good graces lately. Is this side just aggressive? Anxious. Aggressive. Composed. All right. We will demand more from these guys. I think, yeah, we still stay up because we have a way goal difference here. Let's do demand more. It just can't be the Gillette and Martin show, as much as we'd like it to be. I mean, Valdison is going to have to get involved in here. Clarence is harried by them. Cox's header isn't picked up in the midfield for once. They send it long again. Edison's going to pick this up, find Silvar to Hewitt. Martin's there. Martin, beautiful through ball into Gillette, who I thought that was going to get saved. But it doesn't matter. Yannick with his second. Yannick and Martin are really starting to pick up a partnership there. Silvar finds Hewitt. Let's see how this played out. Martin. Beautiful through ball. And Gillette. Now, here's the other question. Is Brownlee, what are we... Oh, that's why. We want you to play as an inverted winger on attack. Let's play you more, more to what you're used to. I forgot I didn't have him in for the last game, so I had uh, Martin playing there as an inside forward. As Yannick has picked up a first half brace... And has put us right where we want to be. Now once again, we're fighting fatigue. A lot of these guys are tired. Because they have played recently. Martin, Valdison. I mean, Valdison's the guy we always got to worry about. He's such a dynamo in the midfield. He usually runs himself right out of games because he gets so tired. Silvar looks like he's doing good on the left-hand side. I'm glad to see that one worked out okay. That choice works out okay. And it's been a pretty even game as they're talking about possession. And, uh, but XG and shots, that's a whole different story here. As they've just swapped up sides from Gravenberch and everything. Okay. Bedov hasn't had to go out of good completions. That's fine. I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. They're happy. They're happy. I'm happy. Uh, we have to watch Valdison and Martin. Let's see. Make sure those don't, levels don't drop. And Bedov is now as well. Martin, I'm not so worried about because we have rotational options there. I'd prefer to have him get tired out. But Bedov and Valdison, I'd like to maybe rotate out. But the midfield, Hewitt and Brum working out just great. Another goal wouldn't, go, wouldn't be a miss. I'd love, love to get a third goal in here. Just to kind of seal it. All right, throw in Silvar. Kind of goes nowhere. 
Can we pick it up? Nope. Latara Martinez. Uh, what is it with my center backs and red cards? What is it with my center backs and red frickin' cards? Lamont's going to come in. Uh, do we have anybody who can play a more defensive midfield? Key can't, right? No. I should have put the guy who could play defensive midfield in here. Um, I think this is what we'll do then. I've got two more subs I can make. I might as well make them now. We're going to have Martin come up. Brownlee drop into the midfield, but we're going to give that to Kane. Kane's going to swap with him, be a deep line playmaker on support. You can be a box-to-box -box midfielder on support. And Brum can stay. Can he play as a deep line playmaker on... Yes. So we'll do this, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kane in the midfield can also play as it. So Kane will play as an advanced playmaker. Brum will come back into the middle. You will play as a box to box because you are comfortable as that. And you are going to play as a deep line playmaker on defend. Martin will help play as a false nine on support. And that's how we're just going to have to play it here. We're going to go down to Cautious. You know, we've had... We haven't had defensive problems. Hakimi getting chased down. Gillett all the way down here to the byline here. Headed clear to Brum. To Lamont, who sends it long. Oh, don't let him shoot. Aslani. Oh, they took it out. It's got to be a goal kick. And it is. Kane. Oh, God, Harry Kane up here now. Kane as the advanced playmaker. Silvar to Kane. Finds a beautiful through ball to bet off. Back through Kane. Oh, finish it. Harry Kane. <laughs> With his first for, Go for Corby Town. He kind of set this up too. Pings the ball across the corridor of uncertainty. Bet off comes back, pins it back to him. Kane just one touch and then blasts it into the corner. I mean, that's what we got him to do. He's the wily old veteran now, Harry Kane. Knows, knows how to score goals, knows how to set them up. Beautiful play. All right. I don't want to go... I mean, yeah, very... Def actually, yes. Get Jurgen. Go very defensive. I don't need these guys so aggressive. So we can put them back on support. Jurgen can come in as a complete forward on attack. We can just run both these guys as complete forwards on attack. They're both good enough to do it. In we go. Very defensive. And let's just see out the game. So, this is the reason why we bought another center back. Aslani claims, great. Is he going to send it long to Gillette? No, he's going to waste some time. Nope, he's going to send it long. Gillette's header finds Piola. Now he's going to clear it down. Now we're back in the midfield in numbers. Good. You can see defensively we're there. Lataro Martinez. Duragadu. Tielemans. Yuri Tielemans, really? Oh, beautiful. But uh, referee's flag was up for offside. Yeah, Pepe, we have. We've gone full defensive. As of they... Interesting. Okay. I mean, Bedov is exhausted. There's not much I can do about that. He just needs to kind of play it out. Um, we'll rotate him off for next game. That's Hey, remember that, remember that Portuguese right back that we picked up? Good thing we got him. Good thing we picked up another center back, too. Clear. Cock clears it. Gillette is going to do what he does best. Run against the defense. Look for the pullback. Or take the shot on. I think the pullback would have been better, but, you know. We're never, we're never gonna, we're never gonna knock the boat when Gillette takes the shot. We've said this plenty of times before, and we'll say it again. Gillette shoots, it's fine. I guess we're getting good to defending, playing, uh, playing when we're outnumbered. 
and time is just tick, 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 ticking away. And here we go. Perfect. Not the best start by any stretch of the imagination, but a good one. We did get the win. Uh, I didn't think he had a problem with our approach. Yannick Gillett. Beautiful. <laughs> I just think uh, the chance to be up. Uh, just find him. And then don't appeal. We get money. Gillette's in great form, as he always is. Thank you very much. All right, so I am going to show you guys the game versus West Brom, which is in a couple of days. So we'll be back for that, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, everybody, and we're back. So we're here against West Brom, and I've decided to make some drastic changes, just because we need rotation. Um, the really only first place, the, I mean, Hashimoto and Kotner, kind of two first teamers along with Aslani, but everybody else, <laughs> Ambrose too. Ambrose is a first teamer. Uh, now that um, not bad off is apparently wanted by Milan. <sighs> now that Carnival is still injured, though coming back soon. Ooh, John Hope is here. We hang on. We got to do something with his development training. Uh, we need to do his additional focus into general rehab. Very important to do that. It is the best training in the game by far. So. Strong bench, Gillette, Valdison, Martin, Brum, Bedov, and Guillerme. The starting lineup of Islani, Valencio, Hashimoto, Lamon, Kopner, Kane, Ambrose, Scrivener, Augusto, Robinson, and Jurgen leading the line. Now, Jurgen is a good advanced forward, but he can also play as a complete forward. Anyways, let's just go right into it. Everybody is familiar with the tactic. Ambrose is happy to be back on the team. No problems with the West Ham instructions. West Ham's in 16th. It's a bit of a risk, but we've got Liverpool in the Caballero Cup, and then we've got Manchester City coming up next, who's in fourth place. So I need some rotation. Um, he's just being... Really, I have the privilege to score with the fantastic depth and talent. I have complete faith in whichever combination of players. Uh, he's just being rested. There's nothing more than that. You can tell us... You know, opt for Robinson as a replacement. I have complete faith in him and do the job. Robinson was great for us last year. He scored a lot of clutch goals. And when Baye wasn't cutting it, he was in there. Also, by the way, I forgot to say, Scrivener is the other starter. We're gonna, I thought Martin started so many games. Well, yeah, we've got Scribs there on the left. So it's not like we've totally abandoned our first team players. We still have a decent amount of people who, who would be in our first team and who were in our first team last year. As Valencio finds Robinson... Beautiful ball in. Jurgen can get on it, but there's Kane trying to ping the pass in. Doesn't get it. Foot race now. Looks like we're going to be okay. And we are. Good, 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 good. You know, I mean, Scrivener would have been start. Klopner's a starter. Aslani's a starter. Hashimoto's a starter. Ambrose would have started. Robinson did start. Uh, Ambrose looks like he might have picked up a cut in his hand. Yeah. Ambrose cut cut his hand. I think he'll be fine. That does it doesn't affect his feet. That's for sure. As we keep playing. All right. It's not what I'm expect. I mean, I'm not surprised that the team is this slow off the mark. Edwards ball in. That guy got a header to it, but it looks like Aslani had it covered. We are getting shots on the target. Four shots, three on target, one off target. Five corners, four fouls, okay. So we are dominating like we tend to do. Just need a little bit more work here. As uh, Manchester United have gone above us. Kane, the Valencio, back to Kane. Who I think is wearing the armband for this game. Beautiful, nice boss. Finds, picks the pass up to Klopner. Klopner in. Scrivener scrambled off the line for a corner. All right. Ambrose on the corner here. Sends it in Hashimoto. It gets cleared. And we are getting back. Good. Kopner with a good tackle. 
cuts out the pass. <laughs> all right. All right. A little nervy, a little nervy, but all right. Lamont to Kane to Augusto. Finds Kopner. Runs at the edge. Scrivener. Not as clinical as Gillette, but there, nonetheless. Oh, oh yeah, by the way. All right, he is inside four, not tackle. Kopner is tackled. Leonard Augusto tackles it back. Finds Kane to Robinson to Ambrose. He's got Valencia on the outside here, but he decides to take it himself. He had Valencia, Valencino, sorry, Valencino on the outside. But say Levy and Valencino having a little bit of a t rough game. And we're having good game. It's impressive at breaking it. Into the final order. Yeah, that's what he does. Giving you a lot of credit. You still have faith. You can go out there and do it. You can go out there and do it. You can go out there and do it. So go out there and do it. We will be making changes in the second half. Post haste. If things don't go awry. Leonard Augusto is tiring. Which is fine. He hasn't doesn't have much in the way of match sharpness. As is Ambrose. He's coming back from an injury. Kane's still looking lively out there, though, which is nice to see. Let's be honest. It's, it's nice to have Harry Kane. Even if he is playing in a deep-line playmaker kind of position. Uh, all right. Ambrose. Ball in. Hashimoto. There we go. The breakthrough. I guess the one thing we can always say is that at least our defense is solid. Ambrose, beautiful ball in. Hashimoto's there. Beautiful, just headed into the ground. Keeper can't get down quick enough. He's onside. Very much onside. Beautiful header. And there's the lead. Let's see if we can hold on to it. We should start thinking about changes soon. As Kopner finds Augusto. Back to Kopner. Back to Augusto. Pings the ball to Robinson. Beautiful pass. Robinson finds Valencio. Valencio driving into the box. Can he get the ball in? He can. It's got to be an old own goal. It is Chris Griffin's. Beautiful play by Valenciano. And that's not going to bring his rating up because he didn't get an assist or anything. But it, it, it was all him developing that on the right-hand side. Scribs could have been there. Jurgen definitely was around the box, so... A good, a good, good start. A good, good start. Brings his rating up by 0.1. 6.3 is not doing him a justice now. Um, I wonder, can I get away with some other cheeky changes? I might be able to. If I do this, I do this. Okay, that's okay. And bring. Let's do that for right now. His ball's cleared away. Leonard Augusto clicks it. Kane finds Valencio to Kopner to Kane. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky by Harry. I mean, he really does dictate the tempo as, a, as kind of the deep line playmaker there. Oh, I should also swap those guys. Hashimoto has either footed where Kihirame is not. All right, Ambrose is tired. We'll do that change, and then we'll also take Ambrose off for Brum. Ten minutes isn't going to do much for Valison and Brum. They're just going to kind of get out there and stretch their legs, really. Scrivener's tired. But Martin probably will start against um, probably start against uh, Liverpool in the cup game. Beautiful win for us boys. Beautiful win. Able to come in with a rotated side and do a justice and keep a clean sheet. Clean sheet it's huge. Great win. Great, great win. Hashimoto, man of the match. Well done, lads. 
absolutely well done. Ah, uh, it's so much easier. Look at that. Manchester United, Tottenham, Arsenal, Man City. Just everybody up there with us. Liverpool won Ambrose. I can understand why. Simeone, Simeone is... Oh yeah, I thought so. Yeah, they want the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. Arguably the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. Meanwhile, we have like one of the best backups. Who is... Not as eccentric, but probably as good he is. Yeah, distribution and shot stopping, he's the same. Yeah, look at that. Aerially, he could do a little bit more. Sweeper, keeper, and support. Agility. But balance, jumping reach. So he's got the aerial stuff. Decisions, anticipation. Positioning, reflexes, rushing out tendencies, one-on-ones, kicking. We should probably start giving Brum some time. We might start him in the cup matches, give him some cup for ties. Definitely going to start him in the Champions League against the weaker sides. Transpador gives comes to mind. Uh, yeah. I'm delighted. Absolutely playing a certain playoff like this. Uh, there's no way Simeone should look elsewhere. Committed my style to a pass type of passing play. And hopefully, by the way, that free kick or that, that header shows my, uh, they want me to start doing more with set pieces. So hopefully that gets the board off of our back a bit. Club vision. They're disappointed. Well, you're disappointed with Scrivener. That's fine. We've only played, we haven't played him that much. Work within the wage budget. Look at this. High tempo, entertaining, possession, attacking. Oh, it's a good time. The top influencers are Harry Kane, Carnival, and Valdison with Gillett, Scrivener, Brownlee, Bedoff, Aslani, Hashimoto, and Cock. I mean, that's a great hierarchy. Harry Team leader Harry Kane is approaching the end of his career. If he retires soon, we'll have to cope with having two or other team leaders. Yeah, we've got people who will come up. Probably Cock. But Kane being the model professional is great. And that's why we brought him in. To just be there to like <laughs> give good information to the team. So when do we come back? Well, that's a, that's a good question. I mean, I think I played the Liverpool game off camera. And then we have Man City and Transpador. I think would be the next one. Mancetti third, Transpendor in the Champions League. So that's what we'll come back for. Until then, I'm James, you, you. This has been Corby Town, and have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.